This is our van, Citroen Jumper, 6 meters long with extra high roof, so inside we have a lot of headspace. Our action plan is to transform it into a nice camper, so this is our design. We wanted a very invisible camper, so we don't have any windows on the side of the van. Only two hatches on the roof. High bed with a huge storage under. Large working desk. Sofa that becomes a second bed at night. Hidden shower and toilet inside of the cupboard. Small kitchen. And of course, some cupboards on the wall for personal items. We will install two solar panels and a gasoline heater on board. So we finally finished the cleaning. It took us about maybe three hours. And it feels like we can already bring some girls here. We've cleaned properly the van as soon as we bought it, but we do not recommend doing it, because it will get dirty and dusty while you are building it. Since we don't have the proper place to, to build the camper, we're kind of using the parking spot. You need to just consider the weather and all the things, and just maybe the current work to plug your stuff to cut the wood. Uh, so we removed all the panels. Uh, it was a bit of a mission to remove the original ones uh, from Citroen. Uh, you see that some of them are broken. Much better to have proper tool, but after an hour of cleaning, it looks quite new. So I think we can even make money on it if you, if you decide to sell it now. Yeah, true. Filling up the gaps with insulation material. I'm not sure if it's the best one, but I feel like the guy from the shop said it's the most thermic one. Uh, it's pretty pain in the ass to, to fill up this, these gaps. I was thinking it's a nice idea to cover the holes with this aluminium thing so the air doesn't pass through and uh, that will be fine now. And I'm not, being, I'm not using the ex extendable foam just for the reason in case you need to do something else after on the, on the van it's basically impossible to get through the, through the holes. So I finished installation of the van and now it's uh, warm and cozy. Most of the things are closed now even with the aluminium tape. Я бы еще здесь бы открывал бы больше. It's a bit uncomfortable to cut the roof. Now this one is uh, pretty wobbly. I feel, I feel like I hope with the hatch it will be much stable. to sand them a little bit just for better grip. So our job is done for today. The blower is installed and is waiting for Sikaflex to dry. For example, just for your curiosity, the guy he wanted for two windows, he wanted 240 euro to mount them. Just double check which uh, one you should use. For example, with our Fiamma, they they gave us a suggestion to use one. So we took the same type of the silicone, but from another brand. Just to double check that one. When you finished to put the silicone around, with your finger, okay, you make it nice, but if you wet with your finger, it makes it much smoother and much nicer. Yeah, and don't be lazy and use maybe the tape, just put around, so when you just finish your Sikoflex uh, job, just remove the tape and it looks nice and neat. looks like we put in a lot of Sika flex, but when you put on the top of the roof, it seems that it's almost eno not enough. So don't save money on that, just put it in abandons. We are putting dual 
tape. It's a special one. It's uh, specifically designed for this type of things or other similar ones. Specifically expensive one. Yeah, it's uh, two euro for one meter, so it's expensive. But at least we don't have to drill any holes in the solar panel. And this was recommended by the guy who, who was basically doing the campus. So the plan is we just dual tape the solar panels. They're flex ones, they're light, so we don't need anything more. And how is the cable going? Uh, we drilled uh, four holes, for positive, negative, and we will do all the connections inside the camper actually. So we do simply four holes, which goes inside and from inside we join them together. Yeah, and we will seal it. 19 stripes, and each one is one meter ten. And you need some good knees as well. So our choice was 140 watts. And uh, yes, solar panels. Yeah, they are flexible ones. And yeah, a lot of people. Even the, the, the guys fly with the helicopter to film how we uh, uh, install the solar panels. So it's quite an important event in the morning. Just because it's uh, less visible. And they, yeah, it's, it doesn't stay like too high. It doesn't look like a camp at all. I cleaned it properly with the alcohol and everything. Yeah, now we attach the adhesive from one side. Now we put them on top of this and uh, they should stay very steady. I, I see already that this is really sticky stuff. right now is to empty the van and we'll make the new flooring there. us three and a half hours. It took a bit of time to cut the wood and make it perfectly, you know, a perfect fit. So. so we are mounting the boxes. So it's quite simple boxes. So it's one, two, three, four panels. But even if it's simple, the van is not straight. So. so we had to adjust to cut it like just to make the corner there. We are waiting until the, the paint will dry. Yeah, we gave the first layer and we'll do probably another two layers. First impression, I like on this wood, on the floor. 10 minutes, it dries really, it's absorbed really quickly, so probably in five minutes, 10 minutes, we'll do it again. We installed the wood support for, for the bed, for the wall. Yeah, today we decided to put back the panels, but we wanted to have something underneath it so we can uh, fix uh, the bed. Mm. To the walls as well yeah, and that's what the... we've done and here for, 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 the, for the wooden panels for these guys so they're not going to do this work yeah so they're touching basically the panels it's a bit tricky thing uh, to do i mean you need to not tricky but you need to find the right width of wood right screw so it doesn't go through the through the van yeah and the van is not squared so you know it's it's all so it takes time huh we use the sketch app application just for for designing and just for measurement, just for visual presentation, we can do it on paper easily. We found quite an efficient guy. We ordered yesterday the wood, and here it is. It's all ready. It's all ready to put together. We use the 20, 20 millimeters wood, and it's strong and it's nice. Uh, for the top of the, the camper, we were using the 27 millimeters. It's quite nice. It smells good, but we need to make some treatment. Okay, I think from now a lot of visual changing will be in the camper because until now we've been doing electricity, cables, uh, buying things, uh, going around things, and now I think pa, pa, pa. at least it felt quite slow. I mean, you, you spend a lot of hours and you just in the evening you see like oh, nothing changed. So, so as you can see, we're having this delicious sliced pizza, margarita. The side is 118 centimeters and in the middle is 120. So we're missing like one and a half centimeter and we need to add probably underneath like a small layer or something. <laughs> and it was a mission to put it all, all together, but as you can see it looks quite nice. Now. 
this is the bad support. Quite solid. I think the great idea is to move something in the middle or install the metal bar. That one really works really, really great now. And we went for both options. We just passed all the cables to all, all, all the places where we want to have electricity. Now if you can see it's all collected nicely here. Yes. And everything is marked because the same color to don't have confusion. Don't forget to mark everything. Installing the support for the ceiling. Yeah, it's a ceiling day today. No? Yeah, it's pretty simple. We put the one line with the screws, and after will be the, the wood panels will be attached yeah. there. So this is the last piece of wood we installed. And now we're, we're ready for panel. Here we have some extra double tape, and we will try to use it just for these small works, just to don't put too much, too many screws, and to make it nice. It takes about 10 minutes, 5 minutes for one of these panels and maybe 10-15 minutes for one of this. If not him, I would for sure I would be forgetting about the insulation. It's better to have me always around. That's, <laughs> that, that's, that, that's his point. I'm pretty happy with this, huh? Nice, quite solid, and here probably will be the storage for the big containers and here will just some random stuff. The action plan for today is to put panels on the wall, to make everything solid inside, cover it, and put the wooden panels on top. A bit tricky, to slow to start because you need to think about many things. And all the measurements just to make it work. So one, well, once it's done, this, it's like everything else is. So we finally finished to cover all walls with the panels. What we're going to do now, we just will put the oh, wooden rails so we can attach the wood panels. Uh, the big thing is done because now underneath there is a wood pieces which create supports for everything. So we can attach the table here. We cut a bit of uh, the structure to make it one line. So we can say one centimeter everywhere. <laughs> the camp is still... <laughs> cool. Should be alright, should be alright. Yeah. The floor is not that flat, it has kind of arch, yes. so we have to put something underneath to yeah, make it flat, so we so wouldn't have a problems after with, with, the, with, the, with the doors. How is it going, Chico? Good, quite good. Tomorrow when it will drive, we will need to sand it. Sand it all and probably we'll do it again a bit. Just the, the hole is quite deep and it will suck a bit for the night. So we'll need to add to make it nice and smooth. It took us about an hour to finish this thing. One is holding, one is drilling. And it's not going to work. So the important that the whole pieces are coming you know, precisely without cutting away. On the stage of almost painting. Yes, so we covered all the crabs and holes with the paste, we sanded it quite now, a lot. Yeah. Now we clean a couple of times and now we're ready for action. We put a couple of layers of primer, yeah. exactly, and after we put two, the two hands of uh, our favorite color. So we'll use the, the roll. Take us half an hour, half an hour for the first time. Uh, an important thing just to protect everything around because when we're putting the paste, it was a lot of mess because we didn't protect it properly so after you have to clean the floor as well and you can scratch it so just be careful. In two days we've been painting. Yeah, first primer and now just one coat of uh, grey paint as you can see. 
some areas we will decide we decided that we will give another layer. Yeah. The most visible parts. To make it nice and shiny. Yeah, the invisible ones, it takes time, so maybe we do only the button where we will be putting the boxes. Uh, it takes time, huh? If you want to do it properly, it takes time. One coat takes you four hours, yeah. Three yeah, hours. Even, even longer. Yeah, four. My estimation were completely wrong, half an hour, one hour. <laughs> Installing these uh, rails, just to put the wall on. That's what we're working today on. It's a bit pain in the ass because each one needs some attention. You probably don't see that, but we we draw the line, and they will follow that line for the screw. So at the end, you see nice, fine along the wall. Another panel will go a bit further there for the LED light. We can cut some. Do I touch this? Uh, panel of wood yeah, to the yeah. So this is the the main weight will be holding by ceiling. It's attached to the frame. Yeah, and the point why we put this the panels because we will make the fittings for the uh, hinges. For, yeah. here to make it nice the central line so you don't see it actually and uh, we decided to go all the way to cover everything because as you can see here it's all a little bit broken it's better to make it nice even if it's just for the trunk this will be our escape route so you can open the, the, the vent from, from inside Days I was painting the, the wood. Yeah, we would. We can say pretty much that uh, we're almost done with the wood. Yeah, it takes time, huh? We decided to cover with this stuff uh, all the holes to give a nice form, and after we'll just uh, paint it. Or put the textile. Yeah, textile on top, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, that's, that's the plan. Keep going, huh? Not sure if I'm, if I'm doing the right thing, but let's see tomorrow how it works. Just cover the holes. He was using this uh, fiberglass on this uh, metal panel, and this is the result. Yeah, the result looks quite solid, quite nice. You see there are like, here, like massive holes, but it's all, it's all rock solid. Mm -hmm. Who is there? One of the tricks you can do is to use the roller. There are many fibers popping out, but if you use the yeah, but the just roller, the, just the corner, yeah. So mm. well, next time I will I will improve my technique and we'll do something different a bit. So I don't have to clean. Because there are like some sharp corners, so I have to move around and just to make it nice and smooth. How we covering the metal, huh?
What was your action plan? Some protection and we were ready for epoxy resin. And right now I'm painting the, the final coat for the cupboard shelves. So we had two thin layers of wood. Yeah, one centimeter each, so we have more space. And plus, we added those things at the end, exactly these ones, so the so the hinges can fit. So last time when I was putting the resin on these panels, I completely fucked up because it was windy and I was in a rush. Now I really slowly prepared everything. I dust it off. I clean myself, I put this cover on me and yeah, I redo it and see how it comes out. I want this panel to be really nice because it's it's like a business card for the van. As soon as you open you have the table top and you want to touch it. If it feels nice and good and uh, it's good. Another important point is you never should do this job on the sun and that's exactly what we did the previous time. And you have different types of catalyzer. So this is basically the component which makes it harden. And you have fast and slow. So it depends on your temperature and how much time you have to work on, you choose the right one. We're just making this more the color. And before we cut the mattress. Yeah, the customized one. Yeah, so we cut the mattress first from Ikea. Yeah, we got like, the normal size and now we just made it shorter, the same size we need. Yeah, the, and if you order it from the professional, it will cost you triple. Or what we're doing now, probably even more than, yeah, so just, yeah. and now we'll just cut this part that we don't need, the extra stuff, and we'll use it for something else. That's right. Did small improvement. We cut the corners. Very simple modification. All the stitch and cut. Wow! I'm really impressed. This is a cheap and nice modification, Looking which good. you can do by yourself. To finish the shower, we need to install a siphon, and. Uh, so we're putting the silicone and uh, this rubber protection and we're finishing up. I feel like today is my birthday because we have received the sink, we have finished the epoxy resin on the wood, we have finished the shower, so everything we put together. We just received it and we started to install it on the Ama Kempe. It's very compact, it's nice and looks solid. It's oh, not okay. cheap. We paid 400 euro for only for the sink without the tap. Yeah, well it's combination, so yeah. So. It's quite tricky. It's not enough just to cut one big hole, put it in, put some silicone or a couple of screws, that's it. No, you have to do all the corners and a lot of um, yeah, small like cuts. Round shapes. I was thinking that it's gonna be put, screw in, and I'm done. And you can see it's like it's two layers, so you have to drill one hole all the way, and around you need to make the border like one centimeter deep, so you can fit it nicely. But I like how it looks, huh? When you put it on, it's uh, black and shiny. moment to put the desk on the on the wall. I've been waiting for this for a month. Things, so when you 
fitting with the thread is not damaging the wood. So we are on the stage of connecting the batteries and uh, all electrical stuff, the cables and uh, 12 volts, 220 volts, and uh, yeah, so how it was? It was quite good, quite easy. So we connected all the cables, uh, 12 volts and 220, and we're ready for the final connection to the battery and the solar panels need to be connected. So yeah, and this connection with you, with our friend, to be sure that we did everything in the right way. I'm pretty sure we, if we would read the instruction, we, would, we can do everything, but it's better to... Second opinion. Yeah. Yeah, and we connect the lights, everything working. The lights working, and we have a really nice dimmer on that uh, LED stripe. You know, it's off now, but it looks really nice, really cool. And it, it, I have a feeling that it's, 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 almost, it's almost there, I think, like three or four or five days. And the van is ready to go. two layers the first one is the light one and the second one after we wait two minutes and after with the second layer more heavy one the final one much better much nicer shiny a bit of dust on top but that's not the problem because it would be anyway scratched again we started to have squeaky floor since we have a panel of wood then insulation then floor and that insulation is kind of bending so now we, what we want to do, we want to put two lines of screws so the floor will be squeezed to the first panel and keep it squeezing the insulation and hopefully we remove the noise. Yeah, so the noise is almost gone, which is very good and I'm happy. Fantastico. Fantastico. Ottimo lavoro, ragazzi. We're drilling this hole right now, uh, so we have some access uh, to the trunk from here. Maybe for some laundry, so I'm taking some extra storage. And this cowboy, he's installing the shelf. Yeah, the top. The kitchen. Yeah, we're using this small. So after sewing and modifying these uh, cushions, I, I tell you, nothing is fast. This Velcro is very tough material. So make sure to use the strong uh, textile. So for example, I'm using 100% polyester. Cotton is not good enough. So you need something nylon or polyester or mixed cotton and nylon. So we have small velcro all around, which will be for the textile cover. And we have two velcros in the middle with the self adhesive ones, which will be going on the, the other side will be glued to the, to the sofa. So this is the final result. You have a nice cushion. From this side it looks nice and I'm actually very happy with it and it's a bit too pool 
and I see it's already kind of bending, but I think when you put it with the Velcro on the software, it will be nice. From the back, I'm not very happy, but I tell you, when you're starting, you do everything nice, precise, that, and then something never works, something goes on, and you just, fuck man, you just go fast. So why I need Velcro at all is, is to be able to wash. So I spent almost all day yesterday uh, with this guy who was uh, installing the electrical system. Uh, it was quite an intense job because uh, you kind of need to know what you're doing and uh, yeah, the correct way to connect the batteries to the solar charger to control it. You can do it by yourself if you spend uh, many hours on, on Google or YouTube or manuals but since it's uh, only four hours job so I decided to pay for this and uh, actually did a good job. It looks tidy alright and um, now you can see with iMagine you can see how much charge you have on the batteries, you have two batteries and how much you're consuming, how much you're charging and um, you can see also the voltage of the, of the, of the car the battery and yeah, electrical system works, huh? you can turn on the lights, pump, thing and the solar panels are charging everything so you, I don't need to worry about being flat with the batteries. Today what we're doing is we're installing the Giga water tank. Uh, and a heating system. This thing is inside of the fuel tank and this is measuring how much fuel you have and uh, this is the electrical pump to pump the fuel and this uh, thing uh, will be installed somewhere here around this one. This is the cable which goes inside the van from the heater and you have a heater itself. You have intake, you have exhaust, exhaust you connect uh, with the silencer and here you connect the fuel line, uh, it's a small uh, cable and with this cable you, you need to take also the, the electricity so it goes to the front and here on the front you will put somewhere the pump and from the pump you will connect to the, to the fuel tank so basically they are pumping the fuel from the tank to the, the end to the end there where the cable is so we have a uh, fuel coming from the tank and coming out. It's hanging like this and it's coming out here. It's warm inside. It's uh, now it's 14 degrees. Outside is seven. The heating is on. It's on fire. It's consuming about 200 ml from 150 to 300 ml of uh, fuel. Depends on the how much it's working. So let me quickly explain how water tank works. We installed this uh, thing, this where the water will be coming in. This is for the air to come out. But so when it's filling up with the water, it's not doing bull 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 sound. And this hole is on the bottom. Uh, you pull this thing and the water comes out, you put in stays in and voila he shortened this piece on the machine so he has yeah kind of so it's more level this thing is used for if you need to attach it on the distance so you can attach the extra pipe here a handbrake cable now is uh, it's not arriving to the holder exactly that one
vacuum just to remove the main dust. Right now I'm assembling the chair, IKEA chair. Uh, it's fun. This is a bar chair, ideal for 90 centimeters table, and I'm actually very happy with it. You have a rest for your legs, nice height for the table. The cool trick is you lower it when you're finished, and if you want to move, you just put a small rack here and you raise it. It's the table, when it hits the table, it just stays there. Because it doesn't have legs, it's not annoying. You see this new thing? I put the mirror on this wall, it's easily passing there. So it's not breaking nothing. So before, if we needed to remove a bit of wood, we were using the mouse. Now I bought this thing. Man, this is a game changer. This is good. That in seconds, removing seriously. So two new shelves installed. I like how they look. I think gray would be nicer. So maybe half table painted. But for now, they stay like this. Final touch, looks already nice, everything works. Today I'm cleaning away everything, I'm giving away the generator, so everything I do today is the last things. I think I will notice now, I will be putting on the wish list. So our solution uh, for the sand was to buy this Decathlon Sharp, Sharp yeah, textile, and, uh, and we were really lucky, we have some hooks on the roof. And it's perfect, so and you it, didn't have to do any adjustments here. So, so we, we were thinking we need to drill, silicone thing, but we're lucky. You have a two metal poles, one meter eighty, and after you, you, you use the rope to, to put on the ground. So as you can see, we put uh, two screws with this strap and for the bike. You just put the bike, put the strap around, go through and just make it tight. Easy. Easy, yeah. Let's do the same for the ladder. So I'm on the final stage of the decoration. I'm putting the bed linens, making everything nice, turning on the water, and all systems. I put champagne in the fridge. Everything works, working. So this, in a couple of hours, I'm meeting uh, all my friends just to show them the van. Yeah, we have some glass of champagne. Why not? To celebrate, important. Uh, two months, one month and a half of work. Could be much faster, but. traveling for two months already and we made some improvements and upgrades to make it work even better so yeah, where exactly. you can find it exactly we made another separate video with all the thoughts all the mistakes there are quite a few of them yeah you know you just put one way because you, you're not sure how it's gonna work and after on the way while, while you're using it you see like no maybe we should change it put it differently exactly we don't want to make this video too long so you can go and check the link below that is the juice because the one well when you build the things you think one way but when you're using them it's completely different yeah so check out that one also in the description we'll put the the list of all things we bought all things we used more or less how much we spent and um, yeah all the information yeah review the product reviews we reviewed a couple of uh, of products already but maybe we'll do more and the things we should you shouldn't buy the things uh, basically everything useful a part of the build will be in that video so check it out hey this is the final stage celebration the inauguration of the of the, of the camper with the beautiful view We're waiting for the sun to appear for the lovely sunset the team is ready champagne is ready <laughs>